Hello Gemini and welcome to today's reading. I hope that all is well. If you're new here, I am your host the Apocrypha and it is a pleasure to meet you. I hope you'll consider joining this little family that we have going on here and turning on post notifications so you can be notified every time I post new content. If you are um, interested in disclaimers, decks, information, all that will be in the description box down below. If you need to want to have a look, please do so. And if you are returning back, Welcome back, Soul Family. I love you guys. <laughs> Bye. Okay. So, let's see what messages need to come through for Gemini today. Let's see. So, the first card that we have is Judgment Cerberus. In reverse. Okay, Gemini, I feel like you've been feeling split. There are people around you that you may have been feeling judged by or you may have been judging harshly without understanding the full situation. If this is someone judging you and you feel called to open up so that they can understand your situation better, then consider doing so. The Wheel of Fortune, this may help bring about a new cycle. This may help to heal an aspect of you that has been caught up in vicious cycles. There's a lot of fire here. Um, perhaps you're dealing with a fire sign, perhaps you have a lot of fire in your chart, Gemini. I feel like, okay, fire and air don't end well. If fire and air mix, then that will just make the fire uh, roar even, even more. So we have the King of Cups in reverse. This is the Orc. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and this is the Minotaur. And then underneath we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is the Amandor Mandragora. A Mandrake. Okay. So again, I feel like there's a lot that you have been struggling with a lot of inner torment of torm oil perhaps a lot of anger that you have been feeling or a lot of people around you have been realizing have been angry for some reason there's a lot here about ending judgmental cycles ending cycles where you are dealing with people who are very judgmental ending cycles where you are judging others harshly Gemini don't be two-faced I know that's something that people say Gemini's have a split personality it's not a bad thing you know we all have different aspects of ourselves but it is important for you to show people who you really are and um, to not harm others but to also allow others to be who they are and to um, if you feel like their energy is not right for you then don't waste your time around those situations and those people and the vicious cycles that you are going through if you have to cut people out of your life then you need to do so gemini i feel like this is necessary there's someone or something in your life that is literally causing you turmoil it's making you angry, it's stressing you out, it's making you feel like you have a lack of patience, a lack of um, optimism. I feel like you've been feeling very pessimistic. This may be a religious um, institution that you feel the need to let go of. This may be a, a dogmatic perspective that has been causing you a lot of turmoil. Well, if I don't do this, this, or that, then I'm going to hell and I'm going to suffer and all this pain and all this bullshit. But if you're not a bad person and good and evil are mostly mostly subjective, um, you're not causing harm to anyone else. You have all right to do whatever the fuck you want. 455. Um, 
if you feel con like confined by religious dogmatic perspectives people or religion around you and I'm saying that because there's a lot here like if you look at them they're literally they kind of look like uh, men of the cloth whatever the fuck and he has a cross on him um, it's making me think of crusades and it's just this very negative energy that I'm feeling from this not not a positive not in a positive way so I feel like if this is resonating with you you have experienced a lot of judgment within religious institutions um, or religious people that you know maybe religious family members that really like don't understand you and they're saying you're gonna go to hell and you're evil because you worship the Satan or some bullshit um, if you need to cut people out of your life do it with love and with understanding that it is just to allow yourself time and space to grow and to become your better a better version of yourself and not to do it out of spite or anger or hate or judgment and I understand how difficult that can be but that is a necessary component to allowing yourself to let go of what no longer resonates with you in a healthy and balanced way Gemini oh, that was a lot but um, I feel like you've been feeling caught up in cycles caught up in the maze you're really struggling to um, ground yourself and perhaps you feel like there's someone or something a negative energy that surrounds you that follows you that uh, tempts you or whatever the Cerberus and the Minotaur are both red entities in these depictions of them and so I feel like again there's a lot of anger and frustration within you or the people that that are around you and I feel like this is really saying to to uh, let go of that and to surround yourself with positive energies there's a lot of red and yellow here um, but I'm also seeing alternatively there's also green so remember to remain um, remain open it's very hard when you're dealing with certain circumstances that are very heavy but it's very important that you remain uh, loving yourself and understanding what it is that you want for yourself and how it is that you're going to reach your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. Um, I heard the dog barking, so that may be a confirmation for someone. And underneath we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Mandrake again. It's like there's this aspect of you that is really trying to grow. It's like a newfound passion that you have. You're trying to build something for yourself, something stable, and you're trying to let go of dogma, dogmatic perspectives that no longer serve you, that keep you bound and stuck, that make you feel like you're a bad person for no fucking good reason just because he or she says that doing X, Y, and Z is evil don't mean shit. As long as you're not harming anyone or anything, a living creature, an animal, a person, fuck it. Like, you wanna be an artist, be an artist. I mean, you wanna be a fucking porn star, as long as you're old enough, then do whatever the fuck you feel is right, you know? My point is, don't allow someone else to dictate your life, and I feel like you have been trying to release um, karma, karma, release negative cycles, release uh, dogmatic perspectives that have been making you feel like you're not good enough, that have been confining you, making you feel stuck, misunderstood, and that they have been misguiding you in a direction that is not in your divine purpose. And I feel like you are coming to this understanding and that you are letting go of what no longer resonates with you. You're trying to go through the maze without feeling scared that there is this big evil entity following you, so to speak. Um, take it as it resonates. You're definitely trying to plant seeds to new beginnings for yourself, what it is that you want in your life, and this is beautiful. So keep at it, keep planting those seeds, keep doing what it is that you love despite 
the naysayers or it doesn't matter if they're family friends or otherwise you will find true soul family um, when the time comes I feel like this may have been feeling like a lonely journey because maybe you have a lot of super religious people around you who literally call you names and call you bad and call you evil and they're the ones I saw 120 uh, 10 and yet they're the fucking ones doing all this bad shit or talking shit about other people or uh, being two-faced and it's not good like they're not realizing their own bullshit and they're calling you out on stuff that you're not even doing that they're doing so definitely not worth your time or energy to deal with these kind of people um, remain I'm, I'm seeing like professional kind of in my head like you know if you've worked retail that kind of like retail experience or something like that is kind of what I'm getting uh, what is it called uh, fuck <laughs> it's not called fuck what um, customer service that shit yeah um, so if you're dealing with people who treat you like shit just because you believe in working with demons and goetic entities or the gatekeepers or you work with Lucifer or Baphomet or whatever and they're like, oh you're evil and you worship Satan and all this bullshit, then you know your path and you know your purpose. I saw 1144. You know why you're doing what you're doing. And as long as your intentions are pure, 1155, what they say don't mean shit. You keep doing what you feel called to because it's right for you, okay, Gemini? So, let's move on here to the charms. So, this gets loud, I saw 1212. So, this is your chance to lower the volume or put headphones on or cover your ears or whatever. So, let's see what comes out for Gemini. Okay. I feel like that one wanted to come out too. The one that was kind of looking at me was the red six. <laughs> and I just heard six, six, six. Um, Six is a number of love, six is a number of balance, a six may be a significant number to you, the red symbolizes fire to me, which is quite interesting because, again, these two entities here are both red, they're both huge, and uh, they're both entities that people, if they were to see them, would think, oh, they're evil, like these entities are evil and they're going to kill you and they're going to... I mean, yeah, Cerberus looks hella angry as fuck, but Cerberus isn't eating those people. Cerberus is guarding. Cerberus is a guardian. I saw 1333. 13 is the death card about change and transformation. Cerberus is a guardian. I feel like guarding. I, I just kind of felt like uh, guarding the gates of hell is something that I'm I feel called to say I feel like this is an aspect that you feel like maybe there are aspects within you that have been guarded that you're trying to unlock certain aspects within you you're trying to understand yourself in a better in a deeper more intimate way um, where you are understanding your strength and everything you're trying to find balance in your life and what it is that you're trying to do here we have the shark charm a little happy shark sharks are uh, like fucking awesome but they're fucking terrifying <laughs> they're 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 very interesting i'm one of those people that has had so many shark nightmares dreams but um they're so fascinating i saw 1441 so what I'm getting here with the shark is to be aware of two-faced motherfuckers, okay? Because we all know that how dangerous sharks can potentially be if they're hungry 
and you're there and there ain't nothing else around and they smell blood you're dead like this I'm getting here that there's some two-faced people around you that they show that they're all happy all the time and whatever and oh God is great and all of this but then they're over here plotting demises so to speak and that may be an exaggeration don't worry but um what I'm feeling here is like they may act one way with you but then behind closed doors like they're not your best friend so be very careful perhaps best friend it may be someone who you're close to who has very different um, spiritual beliefs and I don't know why for you guys today I feel like there's a lot here about religion a lot here about spirituality a lot here about duality or um, difference um, that may be significant to some of you. I saw 1554 turn to 1555. There's a safety pin here, which is like you're trying to hold yourself together, but there's also this aspect of pain that I'm getting for some of you um, that needs to be healed and worked through. We have here the globe. So I feel like for some of you there's this aspect of travel, there's this aspect like you need to get the fuck out of the house, dealing, you need to fucking get away from the people that you're dealing with because they are literally bringing your energy down. Just because you work with uh, darker entities or energies doesn't make you an evil person. Um, and I feel like there's this aspect here that you need to distance yourself from people who just don't fucking get it. So for your own fucking sanity and different things like that, um, it's, again, it's out of love, out of love for yourself and out of love for those people that you just know that you need to separate yourself from this situation and from these people because they're not allowing you to grow. They're not allowing you to grow. Okay, so if you need to travel, if you need to move out, um, that may be significant to you. I saw 1717. Astral projection just came to my mind because seven is the number of spirituality and then we have travel here So I'm thinking about astral projection. If that's something that you have been interested in look more into it um, And just be very careful because some people can literally get lost Okay, so We have here the the chain this to me symbolizes uh, like the, the devil card which is about attachment um, which is about um, addictions perhaps you may be so and then we have we have chains here as well maybe feeling so attached and bound I feel like it's more about bondage you feel bound you feel misunderstood I saw 1808 uh, there's these cycles again with the wheel of fortune as well eight is about cycles you feel bound and misunderstood, but there may also be certain addictions that you have that you need to work through. Okay, Gemini. So let's continue and see what chakra comes out for you today. Oh, okay, cool. We have the uh, crown chakra. So this is definitely saying to follow your intuition, follow the guidance that you are uh, receiving from the angels, demons, entities, gods, goddesses, whatever the fuck you want to call it that you work with. Um, follow the guidance. Question if it's right for you. Feel into it and follow it. Trust yourself. Trust your higher self and trust the wisdom that you feel is right. Okay, if you feel like something's not right, don't do it. Okay? So let's see what letters come out. This may be your initial, someone else that you're dealing with. Um, maybe the initial of a place you want to apply to or um, an object that you have or something. Take as it resonates. We have an A. We have a Z. We have K. F. D. U. P and C. Okay, so those are the letters that came through and these are the messages that wanted to come through today for you, Gemini. 
I hope that this resonated and brought you some clarity and hope into your perspective or hope and perspective into your situation. And thank you so very much for sharing your time and energy with me. I hope you'll consider joining the Soul Family and turning on post notifications so you'll be notified every time I post new content. And uh, thank you so much again. I love you guys and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.